like any 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 intervention force, you have problems with it. And Ramsey has had its problems. You have that everywhere in the world. Ramsey is not is not the only one. The thing I must say is that Ramsey's record has been good, if you compare it to other countries. But it hasn't always been right. Ramsey has made some wrong moves in terms of what happened with the rights outside the parliament. Member of Parliament for Morovo, and me elected as the new Prime Minister elect for the Solomon Islands government and nation. Honorable Snyder Reading. My good people of Solomon Islands, first of all, I must thank. All the citizens of this country. During the, the April 2006 riots, Rooney came out and this place here was already filled with people, expressing the disappointment. And then when they went back into the, the chamber, the people went, of course, at the other side. Then they knew that's where they were gonna, they were gonna come out to, to leave the office. And that's where when things started to go violent. I was at Parliament at that time, and the RSIPF at the scene did not have anything at all. They just stood there as a, as a line or to stop the crowd. That right, I believe, if Ramsey leadership at that time had listened to local advice, it wouldn't have gone that far. It's just understanding Solomon Island mentality. If Ramsey leadership had said, hang on, hold on, let's consult with senior Solomon Island police officers. How do you talk down a crowd like this? Especially a Solomon Island crowd. How do you get them to put down their stones and tell them to, let's talk this over? An Australian would be very different from a Papua New Guinean. Papua New Guinea different from a Solomon Islander. How we, how our confrontations happen, we were very different in that regard. And I think that's where Ramsey made the mistake. The riots in April 2006 um, were a setback for Solomon Islands, uh, and I think um, a setback for, for Ramsey as well. The riots themselves involved arson, but no weapons were present during those riots. No firearms were discharged. So it'd be a mistake, I think, to see 2006 as a return to the, pre -ten to the tension period. But nevertheless, I think it is a, uh, a public disorder incident um, which was not brought under control quickly and that had consequences for Solomon Islands. And I think we've learned a lot from that. We've learned that uh, the Royal Solomon Islands Police Force would benefit from further assistance and further training. 